Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me know if you can hear me and see everything okay. Good to see. We already have Moose Tube in the chat. Kel Wildman was here. Some person 47 says, Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever watched you live. Tara Leitner says, Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Tara. Chris says, Yes, sir. Byron Man John. Hello. This is Byron Man John. Hello, Byron Man John. Good to see you here. Shannon G. Hello, Shannon G. Always good to see you as well. Again, hopefully you can hear everything okay. Everything looking good. I got my coffee out here. It's a little bit of a cooler day out here today, but I did install the air conditioner in the office, so now I no longer have to worry about the, uh, the extreme heat temperatures out here. So whew, that's good. <clears throat> Some person 47 says, so I know. I just got on, but top five arcade games. Top five arcade games uh, personally to play. Down the Clown, number one. Hmm. I'm going to say Tailgate Toss, number two. Probably Quarry Quest, number three, just because it's fun. Pretty much, you could put almost any coin pusher in at number three, but Quarry Quest would be my favorite one, coin pusher. Crossy Road, number four, for sure. That's got to be in the top five. And I really like Zombie Snatcher. I don't know if I would say that's a top five game for me or not. Quick Drop would be in there. That's a tough one. The, the five spot's a tough one. I mean, you could probably mix around. Down Clown's always going to be number one, but you could probably mix around some of the other ones. I'm not sure what I would say for that, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You have to let me know what your top five games are, some person 47. Have no fear. Nathan K is here. Hello, Nathan K. You lover of all things Toronto Blue Jays, Nathan. Welcome. Yep, we just have one break tonight. Unless for some reason um, we sell out of these other ones, but I doubt that that's going to happen. So I'll, uh, as you guys are coming in here, I will. Uh, show off what we have for tonight. So we have the Tops Series 1 Hobby Box. So we have that, which is going to break tonight. We do have um, a couple teams left, not very many teams left, but we do have a few teams left. We have the Arizona Diamondbacks, we have the Colorado Rockies, we have the Brewers, the Twins, and the Rangers. It always seems like no one ever wants the Rangers, so I guess I can never find out why. Some person 47 says estimate of my top five Crossroad, Space Invaders Frenzy, Quick Drop, Simpsons Crookie Carnival, specifically the one at my Nickel Arcade. Ooh, and I don't know about the fifth. Those are some pretty good games. Crossroad's always a good game. Quick Drop's a good game. We don't have a Space Invaders Frenzy around us that you can actually win tickets. It's just a for fun game, like get a high score. So I've never played a version of Space Invaders Frenzy. Well, that's not true. I guess I have played a version of it where you can win tickets, but we don't have one local to us. I'm not sure what Simpsons Crookie Carnival is, unless it's that coin game where you have to get the coins to light up the different things to win tickets, which if it is, that's a very fun game. So, excuse me, we have the uh, Top Baseball 2021 Series 1 Hobby Box. This is what we are breaking tonight, so if you are here for that, uh, make yourself known in the chat if you would like, so we know who is watching. I'll put up all the teams and everyone's name, and we'll go through that and make sure everyone is good to go as far as that goes. A couple of other teams actually on here. I remember there was a guy who was here on our live stream on Friday, I think it was. The Josh Sings was his username. He said he wanted the Pittsburgh Pirates, but I haven't heard anything from him since then. And then Aaron C. said he wanted the Cleveland Indians, but Aaron, I haven't heard anything since you or from you either so just letting you know infinite moi hello says have you jackpot a black hole no we've not that's one of there's a number of games we have never gotten a jackpot on but that's one of the like top games we have not gotten a jackpot on it just has eluded us i got very close one time uh where it actually like rested on the top little peg before it you know could fall into the uh uh, the bonus, the jackpot, or the like too hard slot, and it went to the too hard slot, but that's the closest I've ever gotten. Other than that, 
Yes, I have not. Uh, I've not gotten very close for uh, Black Hole, so it's a tough game. One of these days, I actually put a number of plays on it. Um, I think in a video coming up, and just to try to see because I was there for Half Price Wednesday and just still going to get it. Tara Aoni and Orson are doing well. Aoni is uh, putting Orson down to bed right now, so that's where she is. Some person 47. So basically, the Nickel Arcade I work at, it's called Wonderland. They are local, but own five locations around the Northwest. The location I work at is the original. It gets kicked under dust. So the Simpsons game and arcade give up 750 tickets for each jackpot, only because the owner of all the locations has never noticed for years. Wow, well, that's good. It's always fun when you go someplace and there's like jackpots that maybe they just don't know or they haven't like reset things or something, and you can win a lot of tickets. That's always a nice surprise. But usually, most arcades or owners, they stay on top of their jackpots. So that way, they can get their, their money back. But anyway, that's kind of how it goes. So we have this box. We also have 10 spots left in a two-box uh, 2021 Black Diamond Marvel. There are six cards in each box, all very high-end cards. Uh, and so we have two boxes, two different breaks, but we're just trying to fill one for now. There's 21 spots in this break, and it's a random movie break. So you, everyone's going to get one random movie from the MC universe. The reason why it's 21 instead of 23, because there are 23 Marvel movies, is that the two Spider-Man movies aren't in these boxes. So... 21 movies, and uh, if the card has your movie title on it, you get that card. Chance for some really high-end cards, autographs, that kind of thing. This is uh, $58 a spot, which I know is expensive, but one of these boxes, just a single box right now, is going for, um, I believe, over $600 now. So it's quite ridiculous. But anyway, if you're uh, interested in joining that break, let me know. Uh, we have 10 spots left out of the 21, so we're trying to fill it. It would be great to get a chance to do this soon, but I understand a little bit more on the pricey side. But there you go. Black Diamond. These are hard to find. Not a lot of people uh, are able to come across these. So if you want in, please let me know. So we have that. And then also, kind of just a fun box here, we have this Historic Autograph and Card Company 2020 POTUS, the first 36. Uh, this is going to be nine spots, and actually I think we only have eight spots left because Spinolio has a spot in this break, and this is going to be a random, uh, you get four random presidents, and uh, if, you're, if the card has your president on it, you get that card, chance for some relic cards, chance for some autograph card potentially, uh, some other short print cards and that kind of thing, so that would be a lot of fun to do. I think this one is like 20 something dollars, $28. I'd have to look up on my phone here and see um, what exactly it is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> this is going to be $27 a spot. Yep. So $27 a spot for this break. There's uh, eight spots left out of the nine, but this would be a fun one to do. Something different, but I think the cards look really cool. And, uh, you know, history is fun, so always a chance to get something really neat. And if you pull an autograph card, you basically hit a small jackpot for yourself. So if you're interested in either one, if you're interested in the Black Diamond, if you're interested in the, uh, the POTUS First 36, feel free to let me know, but make sure you get in contact with me somehow to get more information, whether it's Twitter, at Arcade Couple, or whether it's through email, the Arcade Couple BA for Ben and Aoni at gmail.com. Uh, so let me know one way or the other. Actually, not one way or the other. Just let me know if you're interested. I don't need to know if you're not interested. Let me know if you're interested for either of those. But we have the 2021 Tops Baseball Series 1 Hobby Box, which we are going to be breaking here in just a minute. Let me just catch up again here with the chat. It says, I love the videos of Orson's birthday, says Tara. Asher had a great birthday as well. I'm so glad to hear. Yeah, we just had, it was just my parents and uh, or Orson, obviously, Aoni and myself, but it was a nice time. Just kind of a low-key day. We had some dinosaur barbecue for lunch. Orson had a little slice of his cake, which he enjoyed. Not the frosting, but he enjoyed the cake. And I uh, got to open some presents. So yeah, it was just a nice, kind of a, a nice, relaxing, fun sort of birthday for him. 
Dave says where they leave everything broken. Yeah, that's the downside when the owners don't pay attention and care. You do hope that they uh, at, would at least, you know, pay attention to their arcade a little bit to keep the games working. But some person 47 says, I watch Nick Arcade videos on YouTube. I still think ours is the best. Well, that's good. Yeah, I've actually have never played at a Nick Arcade. We don't have any around us. I know there's quite a few down in the, um, like, Texas or California. Uh, you're saying the Northwest. So a ways from where we are, I'm sure. But I would love to test out a Nickel Arcade and kind of see how it goes. Seems like it'd be a lot of fun. I wonder why no Spider-Man movies. Doesn't Disney still own these movies even after Sony bought it? You know, I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, I, I know that some of the rights are on hold for certain things. So I'm wondering, you know, maybe they don't have the rights to do that. But then at the same same time... Yeah, they have all the rights. If, I mean, if Disney does own it, that's what these movies are coming from, I think, because it's like the Spider-Man Homecoming. But maybe they don't have the right to put it on cards or something. Although, we're so we're still there are still Spider-Man cards in those boxes. It's just not attributed to the Spider-Man movies. It's like the Avengers and that kind of thing. So I'm not sure. Maybe that does have something to do with it, but interesting. Arcade Kids. The Arcade Kids said... Welcome, or they didn't say, but they are welcoming themselves. They're not welcoming themselves. I can't talk. Welcome to the Arcade Couple family, Arcade Kids. Wow. It's almost like it was my own kids joining the Arcade family. It's a very fitting uh, username, Arcade Kids. Well, welcome, Arcade Kids. Uh, make yourself known in the chat. You can use these fancy emojis now. I think that you've become uh, a member. So go ahead and, and feel free to... Use some of the emojis in the chat if you'd like. There's Mage, the Mage, the Money Mage. Asher had a blast. He has learned how to clap his hands. Oh, nice, Tara. That's good. Orson's been clapping for a while. He's been doing... He was doing that, like, really early on. Then he kind of stopped. But now if we, like, go, yay, or we, uh, you know, we clap our hands, sometimes he'll follow suit and he'll start clapping. So it's kind of a fun thing. He's starting to, even just tonight before he went to bed... He was starting to balance himself standing up and like going forward like he wanted to walk. So I don't think it's going to be very long. So that's kind of exciting, but also very scary. That wasn't you who made those Nickel Arcade videos. No, we've never been to a Nickel Arcade video. Um, I know Dragon Claw Games has been to the Nickel Arcade a number of times down in um, Texas and everything. So, uh, but yeah, no, we, we've never made a Nickel Arcade video. When will you go to the Dave & Buster's in Henrietta location to play Mario Kart and Sonic and more the Henrietta location clubhouse and the Grease Chucky? You know, I'm not sure uh, there's Superman. We don't live, we live like an hour and a half away from those locations. So it's not super convenient, especially with Orson, for us to just drop everything and get out there and go. So it might be a little while before we, uh, we do that. But, you, you know, you'll know, you'll see it in a video. So you can be on the lookout for that. Tara says he's walking, standing his own, and taking steps. Nice, yeah. I think Orson's going to be close. I think I think he's, I would even say maybe sometime this week. Who knows? Maybe he'll take a couple steps. But I, I'm excited about it. It'll be, you know, it's another milestone for him. But that'll be a lot of fun. So, all right. Here's your look, just so everyone uh, knows. Here is your look on the right here about the... Uh, um, Teams that are left, we have Arizona Diamondbacks, Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore Orioles are not left. My apologies. This is not an updated thing. Let me let me switch this over real quick. I just gotta change my. There we go. This is what you guys need to see. Let me transition this. This is what we have left. We have Arizona Diamondbacks. The Rockies, the Brewers, the Twins, and the Rangers. So this is all who are involved in the break. Sorry, I didn't update my list, but there, this is what we have now. So this is what we have going on. When are you going going to plan going to the movie theaters this summer to see Space Jam New Legacy? No, I don't think so, Superman. We don't have uh, any plans to go to the movie theaters because we'd have to get a babysitter or something for us because I don't think he'd sit through a, a whole movie. But yeah. Sorry. Our boys are soul, soul brothers. Yeah, I guess so. Dave F. Needs updated. Yep. There you go. I, I've done it. I've, I've changed it. 
Ted Johnson says, looking for football cards. Well, I'm sorry, Ted. I have no football cards out. I have presidential cards, and I have <laughs> Marvel cards, and then I have baseball cards, which are breaking tonight. If you're in the break, uh, you know, if you're one of the people on this uh, list here, let us know. Let me know that you are. Yankees are football, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Chris Playlist. Question, what's the arcade couple's least favorite rock band? Answer, Arcade Fire. <laughs> that would be, I mean, that's pretty clever. That would be true. Sometimes when I type in, like, uh, when I start typing in Arcade Couple or something like that, or Arcade, um, whether it's on Twitter or something, Arcade Fire always pops up because they're, you know, a pretty popular band. But Nike Box is Pokemon. I have no, po I don't have any Pokemon. I have some leftover Pokemon cards that uh, I have, you know, laying around or something. I don't have any leftover Pokemon boxes. Although I did see a box um, today at Walmart. They uh, have Elite Trainer boxes of Battle Styles, I think it is. The blue, the new one that just came out, the blue one. So they have those out. Infinite Moss says, I'll babysit Orson Dave Busters. Here we come. There you go. Yeah, you guys can make you guys should make a video with Orson as your um as uh, like your sidekick and just go around playing arcade games with them. So have all the different arcade uh, YouTube uh, channels out there. Just borrow Orson for some videos and and uh, see how many jackpots they can win. Gerald Ford played football. There you go. That works. Dave F. That works. We'll take it. That's now it's uh, it's officially a football box. So Ted, there you go. You can join in the historic autographs. POTUS, the first thirty six. It's officially a football. And don't forget about that rare Joe Burrow card that could be inside. <laughs> Bomberman John, welcome to the Arcade Couple family. Thank you so much, Bomberman John. I thought you already, I guess I gave you a wrench. I didn't give you, uh, you weren't part of the family yet. But thank you so much, Bomberman John. You're always so great supporting the channel. Bomberman John has, uh, I think, two spots in the marble break. So he's excited. He wants people to fill up the marble break because he wants it to be, uh, he wants it to, to see if he, he's going to get anything. He's excited. So and I'm excited. I, I can't wait to open it. I just hope we get to fill it up soon. Yes, get some rest, Tara, and I will tell Aoni uh, that you and Asher say hello. Uh, Nike Boxer says, we don't give a stink in L.A., not even Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, boy. Extreme uh, Borrow Orson series. Yeah, I don't think Aoni probably wouldn't love that. Shannon G says, our Walmart has all Pokemon cards behind the customer service desk. Limited amounts you buy. That's what our Walmart has done now, Shannon. Uh, Target, you know, across the board has stopped selling cards, but our Walmart put them back where they used to sell the cigarettes and everything. And uh, they put them back behind there and it's limit one of anything per customer uh, per day. So I have not actually bought any retail cards in a very, very long time. It's been quite a while. So, um, but I haven't I didn't see any sports cards or anything like that back there, just the Pokemon. And even that looked like it had been picked through. Barman John, I thought I was too. I just noticed I wasn't. I don't know. Well, now you are. There you go. I guess I sometimes I get confused with the wrench and the logo. But yeah, if you have the logo next to your name, you're you're a member of the channel. I don't even remember what our uh, our thing is. Our our price thing is like two bucks, three bucks, whatever it might be. Nathan Klein says so did Kennedy, Nixon, Reagan, and Eisenhower. So yeah. So this box is basically. The historic autographs POTUS box is basically a football box. So I'm, sure, I'm going to start labeling it as that. I'm sure it'll sell better than, uh, hey, get a piece of uh, George Washington's hair DNA profile. So the reason why Spinolio joined that break is because he's hoping he does hit one of the president's hair follicles so he can recreate the president. That's what he's trying to do. I'm pretty sure. Moose is here. Hello, Moose. And Graber says that's how our, our, our Walmarts are. Yeah, I don't know where you live, Grey Brew. Actually, I probably do, but that'd be a little bit creepy if I told everybody. But um, yeah, in New York anyways, around us here in central New York, Syracuse area, it's just everything's really dried up. There's quite the quite the collectors around, and uh, they go to extremes. Moose says, hello. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Moose, you're not late. You're always right on time. So good night, Tara. Have a good night. Nike Boxes says, I haven't bought any cards in 2002, but the hobby excites me. Well, that's good. That's always good, you know? I, w I was, back in 2018, I started buying some baseball cards again, which actually now in hindsight, it was uh, a good year to start buying because the Shohei Otanis, but 
Uh, it, he was still a big chase there, and he was driving the, the price of boxes and stuff way up. But it was fun to do that. I got away from it for a little bit because I thought, oh, you know, I'm not really doing much with the cards. And then I uh, just kind of started getting back to it um, before COVID. It was nostalgia with some Pokemon cards and then these Harry Potter cards. And then I thought, well, let me try my hand at some of these breaks. And uh, it's kind of been doing it since. I'm trying to get back into it now. So the president break. All right, so Barman and John, the president break. Um, it's kind of like a fun box. It's a historic autograph card company, 2020. I'm not showing it here. Let me show it to you. Uh, 2020, the first 36 POTUS. So this box is a hobby box. It represents the first um, 36 presidents. And in this, there are, there's the potential, not guaranteed, but a potential for these DNA hair relics and a POTUS cut autograph card, potentially. Um, so you could get an autograph, you could get a hair relics, but there are also some numbered cards. And uh, the way we're doing it is we have it split into nine spots, and each spot is gonna get four random presidents. So any card that highlights your president is gonna go to you. The short print ones of the first ladies would go to their husband counterpart. So if you had JFK and you got you know Jackie Kennedy, then you would get that card. Um, and then there's also some just like other insert cards, which we would just divvy up between all of the spots. But the majority of the cards will have something to do with the president. So any of the other ones that don't, we'll just evenly divide them as best we can between the other spots. So kind of a, a fun break, I think. There's 16 packs in the box, eight cards per back, uh, per pack. Chance to get something crazy potentially. Maybe an autograph. This hobby box doesn't guarantee it. They had premium hobby boxes, which did guarantee it, but those were like $2,000, which is absolutely insane. Um, so this is $27 a spot, and I have eight spots left out of the uh, the nine. So that's what uh, that's what that one is. But Well, it's the first 36 moose, so I don't think we have to worry about a Clinton hair relic in this one because uh, I believe it only goes up to... Um, who, uh, the guy that took over for JFK, um, Johnson, Lyndon B. Johnson. I think that he's the last one. So you're good. You're good as far as that goes. All right, Barman John, I'll mark you down. I think it'll be fun. I, I'm kind of, I'm considering maybe uh, jumping in myself if no one else uh, wants in on that one, just because I think that would be kind of a fun, uh, a fun break. You know, I don't know. I like collecting. I was saying this the other day. I like collecting some of the cards that are a little bit, um, you know, just different, you know, like the things that not a lot of people collect, like everyone collects, uh, you know, the sports cards and that kind of thing and, and baseball. And I like to collect them too, but I also like some of the, the weirder stuff, like my Harry Potter cards. It's, I know there is a little bit of a following, but it's, it's lesser known, but I enjoy collecting those and, you know, it's a good time. All right. From Kentucky says Gray Brew. Gotcha. Very good. Uh, Frank McDonald is here. Hello, Frank McDonald. Collector says Dave F in parentheses. You're right. Shannon G says, I'll take the twins if no one else wants them. You can have the twins. Shannon, I will put you down for the twins. Uh, you can, uh, Shannon, you can take $2 off this price as well. I'm not gonna, we're not going full price here anymore. So that'd be $5 if you want. So don't worry about it going to seven. So I'll put you down for that, Shannon. Moose, everything's going good for us. Good card scalpers. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I took advantage of the rise in hobby box, or not hobby box, but retail price stuff myself. So there were not not just the breaks, but there was like, I got lucky and found some basketball stuff at one point in time. And I turned around and I sold those boxes. I actually sold them to Steel City Collectibles because I didn't want to have to even worry about going through Twitter and all finding someone to pay the price and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, and I made like a hundred bucks on some of the boxes that I sold just from buying and then reselling. But I was not the people like s sitting out in a chair, standing in line, getting into fights over stuff because they're trying to resell it. Uh, and I always made sure to leave some stuff, you know, that was there. Like I, I wasn't, I wasn't filling my cart and just dumping everything into my cart. Um, I, I was at Walmart once actually, 
and there's this guy in the Walmart, you know, it's local to us. And I knew, like I've seen him there before and I knew that he was going to go in there and start clearing out the shelves. But I'd actually beat him. I was there earlier than he was. Our Walmart hadn't restocked anything for probably two months. There's, there was just nothing. And so I went over to where it was and the lady just happened to be stocking the shelves. And so I went over to the lady and I said, hey, you know, I see that you're still stocking. Is it okay if I take some stuff or would, do you want me to wait? And she said, well, if you could wait, that would be good. But if you do take something, just, you know, just let me know. And I said, well, if you don't mind, I'm just going to grab like two of these basketball boxes right now. And then I'll wait for you to finish up and maybe I'll grab some more. So I did that. And I thought, okay, I'll kind of, you know, like walk around a little bit and I'll come back a little bit later, let her finish up. And as I was like walking back around, I saw this guy come in and he goes up to the lady or he goes up to the aisle and doesn't even ask the lady. And he just starts tearing stuff down, shoving it in his cart because, I mean, there was like the the Chronicles basketball stuff was there and they had the, uh, I can't remember what the other, whatever, there was some other big NBA hoops basketball I think was there. They had Mosaic Football was there. They had the new Pokemon stuff that was really hot that just came out. I mean, they had everything. It was like a fresh restock. And this guy was just grabbing stuff and pulling it down. The lady's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I need to like, you know, they have to do the inventory of this stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I could put it back if you want. And she's like, no, whatever. Just, you know, I guess take it. But I mean, he filled up his cart with stuff. And I was like watching from afar because I'm like, well, obviously I'm not going to get anything now. And so I'm watching from afar and I see another guy come in and he goes right to the cart aisle. And the second he turns in the aisle and he like looks at that guy's cart, the guy with the cart just quickly like turned around and went into an aisle to go pay for everything. So, I mean, it is what it is, I guess, you know, they didn't, they at that time didn't have a policy against that kind of stuff, but it would just been nice if, you know, I guess people took turns or something or that it was a little more cordial the way they could split up all the boxes and everything but now you know we're all paying the consequences of i guess what we've done you know now it's hey one box a day and that's all you're going to get and i know people take advantage of that but in the long run i think it'll be good for the hobby so interesting you know interesting to say the least but so anyway oh let's see here uh it's yeah so you're in that one there barman john let's see Take spot, Johnson. I know I almost did forget that. I like unique stuff. I miss being able to afford the Harry Potter card. Shannon, that's the other thing that was crazy. Harry Potter blew up because Pokemon blew up. And it was so frustrating because boxes that I used to be able to get for like 40 bucks now we're selling for 300 to $400. And it wasn't because it was popular and it wasn't because a lot of people were buying Harry Potter. It was because the people in the Harry Potter sort of uh, niche were looking at the prices for Pokemon and saying, hey, our stuff has to be that valuable because it's from the same time. And so they started doing that. And then some people outside did start buying into it. And so things got sold like that. But it was mostly people who were already collecting that suffered because they had to pay these higher prices. So I actually sold. I mean, I took advantage. I, again, I'm not going to lie about that. I took advantage of those prices. I sold all of my sealed uh, Harry Potter stuff and was able to use it to pay off uh, some debt and that kind of thing. But, you know, I, I still have my cards and I have my collection. I have that my graded collection that hopefully will be coming back at some point in time. But, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, everything was affected by this boom. But I think we're starting to see it kind of trend back to normal, maybe. Not sure, but but maybe. So, uh, Moose says, I'll take the rest of the teams if nobody wants. Sydney says, I'll take the D-backs to rep the home team. All right, Sydney, I will, uh, let me put Sydney down for this. Let me keep going through here, but you didn't resell for 10 times. No, I mean, I didn't, I didn't resend for 10 times. I, you know, resell for 10 times. I, I resold for, like I said, maybe, you know, I, I don't know if I was making, you know, buying a box for a hundred, uh, and then selling it for like a hundred dollar, you know, a hundred more, I mean, 50%, but that's what the price was. It wasn't like I was asking, you know, way, way over or something like that. So, and even with these breaks, you know, I'm not trying to double my money or anything or triple my money. Like I'm making maybe 10%, 15%, maybe after supplies and shipping and all that. So it's, I don't know, there has to be a balance between the things you have to, people do this for a business or a side gig or whatever. And I respect that. And I understand that, but 
have some decency, you know, and, and, and just balance it and, and don't take away the joy of collecting from other people. So, but yeah, Moose, that, that viral video, that was absolutely crazy. Yoshi Bros is here. Hello, Yoshi. I have a sealed die in alley box I got for $60 before the craze. See that, yeah, I would, I mean, I would hold on to it, uh, you know, just for a sealed collection, unless you want to open it or whatever. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. That That's worth a lot of money now because of the way things have gone. So Yoshi says, do you need to be a member to sign in for MLB team? You don't need to be a member, uh, but but they are, they are paid spots, uh, Yoshi Bro. So they are... Um, you do have to pay for a team. That's why you see the little prices next to them. So we just have the Rockies, the Brewers, and the Rangers left. But I think Moose said he would take the last three. And uh, Moose, you just take $2 off all of those. So that's 10, uh, 17. So that's 17 those if you if you do want those, Moose. Uh, so anyway, where is the missus? She was, she's putting Orson to bed. And then I think she's got some other things she's doing. Unless it's Star Wars or a Lion King or... I think she'll be out here if we break the Marvel ones at some point. Um, but, yeah, she doesn't care about the baseball ones. <laughs> All right. I'm not opposed to reselling my grip sandwiches. Ooh, Moose, that, that sounds like a better gig. Why don't you get on that one? All right, Moose is filling up our break for us. Watch, she, we're going to pull a Christian, a Christian Yellich, uh, Yellich Auto. I just know it. I don't know if anyone good from the Texas Rangers, though. Rockies. There you go. All right, that's what it looks like. Thank you so much, everyone who's participated there. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone has made their payments and everything. So I think we're good to go as far as this goes. Yep, I see Shannon there. So I think we're uh, we're all squared away. Again, if you're watching this, just uh, whoever the the Josh Sings character was. And then uh, Aaron Campos for the Cleveland Indians. Um, you know, if you guys are watching and uh, you are seeing this, I'm, I'm planning on sending you these cards because you did say that you wanted those spots, but you haven't contacted me about uh, shipping, payment, anything like that. So there it is, paypal.me slash the arcade couple. So if you need that, I have, I'm not opposed to keeping the Indians cards though, if you don't pay, because that's my team. The Pirates, I, I'm not opposed to burning them. So anyway, all right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get this thing started. Byron Johnson, Steel City made their money. I'm sure they did. You know what, though? Out of between Dave and Adams and Steel City Collectibles, buying online, I much prefer to, I much prefer to um, buy from Steel City Collectibles because I find that their prices are cheaper and I don't have to pay sales tax like I do uh, in New York for Dave and Adams. But Dave and Adams is only like two hours away from me. So I get my packages like the very next day. So that's nice because it's quick shipping. But and they both have perks. Dave and Adams has better rewards. Like that's how we're getting all these Lion, Lion King cards. They're just free because they have double rewards. And that's one of their things. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Whereas Steel City Collectibles, it's not quite as good with the rewards. So I go back and forth between the two. I like buying from Steel City. I like buying from Dave and Adams. I'm hoping soon to maybe go out to Buffalo and to visit the Dave and Adams store in person. It's something I remember doing when I was younger. We would shop there and we would look around there at some of the sports stuff when they were a much smaller shop. Um, so I'm hoping to get a chance to do that again in the, uh, in the future and uh, go out and see the the big place the biggest sports memorabilia hobby store whatever it is but we'll see um maybe soon all right just one last time before we break this want to go through this list with everyone and make sure it's out there on the record for everyone as i take a sip of coffee from my gryffindor mug ah, delicious all right sydney r has the diamondbacks gray brew has the braves Matthew S. has the Orioles. Sydney R. has the Red Sox. Julio has the White Sox. Julio has the Cubs. Michael H. I haven't seen Michael. Michael, are you in here? Has the Reds. Aaron C. may or may not have the Indians. Maybe I do. Rockies are Moose Tube. Ronald R. is the Tigers. Jeremy W. The Astros. Parker is the Royals. Gray Brew is the Angels. Julio A. is the Dodges. 
Fitch Jr. One is the Miami Marlins. Moose Tube is the Brewers. Shannon G is the Twins. Thanks, Shannon. Julio has the Yankees, the Mets, the A's, and the Phillies. The Josh Sings may or may not have the Pirates. Maybe the Burn Barrel has them. The Padres goes to Michael H. He's hoping for that Tatis auto, perhaps. The Giants goes to Julio. Matthew S. has the Mariners. Julio has the Cardinals and the Rays. Moose has the Rangers. Nathan K., what else would you expect? Has the Blue Jays. Michael H. has the Washington Nats. That's how it goes, everybody. So with that being said, let's go ahead and break this bad boy up. And best of luck, open. Best of luck, everyone, on the upcoming break. I'm going to take another sip of my coffee. So good. The box is sealed. Nathan says, I have a box for you. 91, 92, Upper Deck, NHL. Bought it when I first came out and found it while cleaning out some storage. Oh, that's cool. I would have no idea of how to pronounce any of those names either, but that's still cool. All right, everyone. There you have it. You can see, as I like to say, the seal has been broken. You shall not pass. All right. It's been broken. We're expecting... Uh, hopefully some numbered cards uh, in this, maybe some short prints, uh, and definitely it says look for one autograph or relic card in every hobby box. So we are hoping for uh, the auto. Uh, a relic would not be uh, fun. We do get this hobby exclusive uh, here. Let's go ahead and save that for a little bit later on in the break, shall we? I think these are like the silver cards or something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, silver pack, uh, but I think these are gonna be like some sort of foil, but we'll save those bad boys. So here we go. We have, uh, what is it again? How many packs? I forget. 24 packs, 14 cards per pack. So the same amount of packs as the retail box we did, but a little bit less in the way of, um, as far as the uh, cards per pack. So here we are, everyone. Best of luck. Let's do this thing. Hoping for some big hits for all of you. There's Albert Abreu for the Yankees. Tariq Skubal for the Tigers. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. Jake Bowers for the Indians. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox. It looks like Nelson Cruz for the Twins. Christian Yellick for the Brewers. There you go, Moose. Chris Taylor for the Dodgers. The Motor City Mashers. Tigers, Stars and Service. Don't like this insert, gonna be honest with you. We saw it in our retail box. Just, uh, I mean, I appreciate the Stars and their service, but I don't appreciate the look of the cards. That's not my favorite. We have Oliver Perez for the Indians, no longer. Wade Blank for the Orioles. Slam Diego, Padres, and Trevor Williams, who might be getting burned. All right, that's our first pack. Nothing very special in there. Anytime there is not a, anything special in one of our packs, it just tells us that there's something more special on the horizon. Like Luke Voigt for the Yankees. Or Josh Reddick for the Cheat Strows. There is Dodgers, Future Stars. Andres Jimenez, Mets, who is, uh, I believe, now on the Indians. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. Flip Ruski, not a fan of the horizontals. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of them. Occasionally they're good, but there's more in this set than I remember in uh, tops ones in the past. Jay Bruce, who we found out had retired. Eric Sogard for the Brewers. Malik Smith, that's kind of interesting wearing his mask there. Some of these will just be interesting kind of uh, remembrances, you know, looking back and being like, hey, remember when they wore a mask sometimes when they played? There's a nice Brady Singer rookie card for the Royals. There's another sideways one for you, Chicago White Sox. There you go, Yoshi Bros. Blue Jays. Post-game hand wash. Clean hands needed for the Blue Jays there. There's Cody Hewer for the White Sox. And Alex Gordon. There you go. So nothing, uh, nothing crazy special in that box either. Just looking at the backs of the card there. All right, let's go to the next pack. If they have a Korean player like Rays, Choi, or even a Blue Jays, Rue. We'll see. Jose Abreu. 
Loriel Garcia, Adalberto Mondesi, Justin Verlander, Divi Garcia, Stephen Vogt, Trey Turner, Jorge Alfaro, Brandon Kinsler. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, came across that. Oh, my. Okay. Mark McGuire. Big Mac. One out of three autograph. Oh, my. Oakland A's. We came across that fast. Game used memorabilia. Okay, then. It's triple threads, it says. I don't see triple threads in there. Oh, is this a fake card? Oh, this is one of those fake cards. Oh, no, this is fake. I hate that they did this. I hate that they did this. They got me. This is, oh, this is not, no, it's it's not real. It's not real. They did this. People were selling Mike Trout uh, autographed rookie cards, I think it was, or Topps Update card, Topps Finest card. It's that stupid, uh, look at the border here. Like it's the through the years. You can see it in the foil here, through the years on the left. And um, it's this is the card. Get rid of the border. And the original card would have just been this. And so it would have been like a piece of the bat and that kind of thing in here that said Big Mac. And then this would have been the auto. And the thing that gets me, and I've seen people who are upset about this because uh, of the fact that Topps did this, is that they still have printed on their Topps certified autograph issue. And so you look at it and you're like, okay, yeah, that could be. And I'm thinking, wow, that's really great. And then I see it says triple threads and it says game use memorabilia. But I'm like, but there's there's nothing here. It's just... It's just flat across the top. And uh, yeah, so. <sighs> Good one. Good one, Tops. You got us on that. So if we see this border, we can't fall for that again. We can't fall for it again. Oh, wow. That would have been great. I don't know how much this card would be if it uh, was the real deal, but. It's not. I'm sorry, everybody. Man, got me for a second there. More than a second. Ah, oh, Mookie Betts. Paul DeJong. Man, who has the A's? Who is it that has the A's? Julio. Julio has the A's. I don't think Julio's here. If Julio was here, though... He would have been upset. Julio, I'm sorry. If you're watching this after the fact and you're like catching this on the replay, you didn't strike it, Rich. I'm sorry. Shane Bieber for the Cleveland Indians. Mike Fultonwitzk for the Braves. Ian Happ. Joey Votto. Jordan Alvarez. Orlando Garcia. Evan White. Jesse Winker. Here we have a rookie card for the Nats. Luis Garcia. There's Paul Goldschmidt, New York Yankees, Andrew Benintendi, who now plays for the Royals, John Gray, and Chadwick Tromp. I can tell you what I'd like to do to that Oakland A's fake card. I'd like to Chadwick Tromp that. Man. Phew. Oakland A's. There's a nice Alec Baum card there. I know he's a sought-after rookie, at least was. One for the Reds, Brandon Crawford for the Giants. Chris Paddock, Steven Matz. Looks like someone's trying to give me a call. Mark Kanha. Hold on. Ah. I had to kill an ant. I'm on the... I'm on the, the Ending side of finishing off all these ants. Uh, the trap, my traps have been working, but one just crawled its way up here. Don't worry, your cards are safe. I promise. Wade Davis, Travis Darnell, you Darvish, and Ryan Yarborough. Oh, and one more Arizona Diamondbacks team card. All right, there we go. I'll put a sleeve around this Alex Bomb card. 
just because, again, I know he was, at least toward, more towards the beginning of the season, he was more sought after. Again, I think he kind of fell off a little bit as far as value goes. We have future stars, Nico Horner. He had a lot of rookie cards last year. David Peterson, Anderson Tejada, Kiebert Ruiz, Carter Kiboom, Evan Longoria, Miles, Miles McCullis, J.D. Martinez. Here is a nice Brett Gardner foil card for the Yankees. This is not numbered, just a foil insert, but still pretty cool card nonetheless. Here we have a elbows only, Kevin Gossman, Max Scherzer, Los Angeles Dodgers, Garrett Richards. Still nothing groundbreaking, unless you're getting fooled. My goodness, I still can't believe that. They're very convincing. And uh, especially, you have to see him in person. Tarot, that's what I got, Moose. I got Tarot Ant uh, Liquid Bait Traps, and they have worked wonders. They, I mean, I had a whole huge chunk of them in here and uh, been putting them stuff outside the house. So I think uh, that's the first one I've seen in a while. So I'm pretty sure I've exterminated most of them, but I got to stay on top of it. There's John Means, Lucas Giolito. What is that, two, two guys that threw no no hitter so far right there? Freddie Galvis. Jacoby Jones, Garrett Cole, Mitch Geller, Jerks and Profar, Will Smith, not the actor, Oscar Mercado. Oh, look at this. We got another foil card here. Cody Whiteley, a rookie card for the Di or excuse me, the Cardinals. Not too bad there. Shot them was stuck to it. Caleb Smith for the Diamondbacks, Luke Weaver for the Diamondbacks, Kevin Kiermeyer for the Rays, and Marco Gonzalez for the Mariners. There you go. So a couple of foils there, not really what we're looking for. We're looking for some numbered cards. We did get that sweet, um, what was it, number to 99, that red, that red cracked ice one. That was very cool. Chris Davis for the Orioles, Freddie Freeman for the Braves, Rafael Devers for the Red Sox, Marcel Azuna for the Braves, Howie Kendrick for the Nats, Byron Buxton injured for the Twins, Buster Posey for the Giants, Nate Pearson rookie card for the Blue Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. card, Blue Jays. We have Hunter Renfro for the regular Rays, Griffin Canning for the Angels, Miami Marlins team card, Jake Arrieta for the Phillies, and A.J. Pollock for the Dodgers. See, they leave me a voicemail. They left me a voicemail. Okay. Nothing important. All right, next pack. This one's going to have something good. I can feel it. Not because I can feel it like that it's thicker I just have a feeling David Bodie for the Cubs John Lester for the Cubs Starling Marte for the Marlins a playful bout of juniors that's a Braves card here we have Salvador Perez for the Royals uh, Albert Almora Jr. for the Cubbies Julio Urias for the Dodges Max Kepler for the Twins Luke Voigt for the Yanks the Big Hurt himself and you like it too Frank Thomas, insert card there. We have Pittsburgh Pirates team card, Ryan Bragier, Red Sox, Nolan Arnato Rockies, Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. Oh, Nathan, they're not trying to reach me about my car warranty. In fact, I always know when someone's trying to reach me about my car warranty because I kept my phone number from the area in which I grew up. And uh, people don't really call me from the area anymore because uh, I don't, uh, you know, I don't live there. So now if I get a phone number from that, it's almost always car warranty, scam call, whatever. Really hoping there was not a ant in my coffee. 
Frank's still retired, says Moose Tube. Heads up. <laughs> Justin Dunn. Monte Harrison. Joey Bart. Dylan Carlson. A lot of rookies in a row there. Brandon Nemo. Adam Frazier. Charlie Morton. Matt Chapman. Joaquim Soria. There's a Javier Baez for the Cubs. These cards look really nice. Wilson Ramos for the Mets. Clayton Kershaw. Lourdes Guerriel Jr. And the man himself. Last year's big chase. Luis Robert for the Cubs. He is still injured, I believe. He got injured in that Indians game. All right. Ryan Mountcastle. Carlos Correa. Cheater. Daniel Murphy. Upside down. Brad Hand. Thank you for no longer playing for us. Ahmad, Ahmad, Ahmad Rosario. Thank you for playing for us. Nectar. Excuse me. Hector Neris. Not Nectar Neris. That would be a funny name. <laughs> Harrison Bader. Destrange Gordon. Glaber Torres. There's a uh, 2005 Steven Strasberg little, little throwback card there. Interesting. This is a part of the draft pick subset. Huh, Steven Strasburg. There you go. That's a cool insert. I'll sleeve it just because. Jacob deGrom, Jock Peterson, Jacob deGrom, <laughs> and Brendan McKay. Actually, we had that happen in our retail box too. Moose Tube says, I'm willing to pay Astro's owner $2 if they'll let Ben cut up the Correa card. <laughs> Who has the Astros? I forget. I think it's um I think it's Jeremy. I think he's our Astros friend. Let's take a look. Yep, Jeremy. I don't think Jeremy's here. I don't think he can give us that permission. Sorry, Jeremy. Interesting, interesting. All right. Got plenty more packs to go here, folks. Let's keep it rolling. Sorting seems to be pretty bad on this series. Yeah, it's just kind of... It's a little random, I suppose. Sunny Gray. Buck Farmer. Aristides Aquino. Don't say, did Biden say that right? Jose... Urade, Jesus Aguilar, Jake Odorizzi, Bryce Harper, Kirby Yates, Archie Bradley, Walker, Bueller, Rookie Card, Dake Dunning, excuse me, Dane Dunning. The names are so small. Mitch White, Trent Grisham, Eduardo Rodriguez. Well, we have not stumbled across our auto. We have not stumbled across our relic. We have not stumbled across a single numbered card yet. And this is a hobby box, folks. Must be some good stuff coming at the end. Brandon Bielek for the Cheatstros. Michael Lorenzen. Tim Anderson. Jose Quintana. Brian Goodwin for the Reds. Randy Dobnak for the Twins. We have Miami Marlins. Oh, here we are. Lewis Brinson. Whit Merrifield for Kansas City. I know Parker will enjoy that card. Austin Riley for the Braves. Here we go. Numbered card. 100 out of 299. I wonder if this will be the auto Jack Flaherty. It is not. Just a numbered card. That's nice. Black Border. Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals. 100 out of 299. Very nice there. Francisco doesn't play for us anymore. Lindor. Uh, Tescar Hernandez. Albert Pujols. Robert Ozuna. So we got our first numbered card of the box. Very nice card, I would say. I like that, that old look there. The black around there looks nice. This would, if it was like a bigger card and you were going to one-touch it or something. Let's say it did have an autograph and you wanted to one-touch it. That would look nice in one of the black border one-touches, which I do own a few. But anyways, nice card there. Cardinals, Jack Flaherty, 100 
out of 299. It's nice that it's a nice even number too, having that 100 out of 299. So there we go. Congratulations to the, the Cardinals there. Who's got the uh, the Cardinals? Julio does. There you go, Julio. Very nice. All right, let's keep things rolling. Maybe things are looking up now that we've finally pulled something numbered. Brandon Workman for the Phillies. Bobby Dalbick. Danny Duffy. Joe Adele, who has many rookie cards. Johnny Cueto. Clayton Kershaw. Max Muncy, Zach Britton. Here we go. Flip Rooney. Tell me this is the auto. It's not. Is it a short print or something? Dalton Varsho. Rookie card for the Diamondbacks. Doesn't appear to be anything special about it. Am I missing something? Why was this flipped upside down unless it was a mistake like if they just flip it upside down because there's nothing that's the same border it's not numbered anywhere just a rookie card Dalton Varsho because it's mine says Sydney I guess so Atlanta Braves Minnesota Twins Colorado Rockies, Brett Gardner, Justin, excuse me, Austin Meadows. So there we have it. Very late. It's my fault. No problem, Aaron. Not a problem. Aaron, uh, if you still want the Indians, uh, I'm planning on uh, giving them to you, but uh, I need you to shoot me over the payment for it if you would be willing. If you still want them. If not, not a big deal. I'm more than happy to take them off your hands, but... Uh, if you do, what do we have yet here? Seven seven dollars. PayPal.me slash the arcade couple. That's where you can send it. Yep, we got you down for it. All right, let's see what we have in this one here. Nomar Mazara for the White Sox. Musu does not like Austin Meadows. Austin Hayes. Robbie Ray. Do it for the fans. Do it for the cutouts. That's kind of fun. They have all the cutouts in the background there. Nico Goodrum for the Tigers. Do, 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 do. We have Josh Donaldson for the Twins. Avisel Garcia for the Brewers. Mikhail Franco for the Royals. Tony Gonsolin for the Dodges. Tyler Chatwood for the Cubs. Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. Yuli Gurriel for the Astros, also known as the Cheatstros. Ian Kennedy for the Royals. And hey, Shane Bieber. League leaders Oops, for the Indians. All right. After this, we have, I think, eight. Yes, eight packs left. So we have nine packs, including this one. And we have that hobby exclusive pack that will open up as well. Probably just save that for the end. Look at that. Daniel Johnson rookie card for the Indians. Dalton Varsho for the Diamondbacks. Hmm. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's got to be what it is. This is a short print. This makes sense to me now. Look at this. This is going to be your base, uh, your your regular Dalton Varsho rookie card for the Diamondbacks. It's going to look like this. The reason why this one was flipped upside down is because this is going to be a short print version. It's this like full pictured one here. So that's why that one was flipped upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up because, uh, again, I don't know much about this Dalton Varsho character, but now you know it makes sense here why that was flipped because this is a, a short print version. Sometimes on the back they say, it might say like SP or something like that. Um, I don't know. I guess if it's upside down, we'll know that that's, that's the case. So that's what your base one looks like there. And then this is what your... Your short print one's going to look there. I'm glad that we pulled that Dalton Bar Show uh, regular one because then it kind of got my memory jogging about some other ones I've seen. He's a Slytherin, that's right. Never trust those Slytherin. All right. I still like my reason. Sydney, your reason might still be correct. <laughs> Santiago Espinal. Isaac Paradise. 
Christian Christian P. We we went through the last time trying to figure out how to say that. And I had three different people tell me three different pronunciations. So I'm just going to say uh, Christian P. Pete Alonzo, Ronald Guzman. Hello, Michael Littlejohns, Yadier Molina. There is Jesus Lazardo, future stars, foil card for the athletics. We have Dansby Swanson, Justice Sheffield, Kevin Big- Biggio, and a nice print line down the middle of the Baltimore Orioles. And the same on the Texas Rangers. One thing I have noticed about these cards, many of these cards in the retail box and this one have this awful, awful print line running down. Not pleasant for the card collector. All right, I'll sleeve these ones up because they're here and present with us. Alrighty, here we go. Eight packs left, and then we have our hobby exclusive pack as well. Maybe we'll find something really nice in there. Hello, the polar bear. He kind of fell off too, as far as his popularity with the card. I think he's a great player, but he fell off a little bit. Adam Plutko, Gio Gonzalez, Wilson Contreras, Reese Hoskins, Aaron Judge, Marwin Gonzalez, Brandon Woodruff. Here is a die cut, Albert Pujols, platinum players. These cards are really cool. Paco used to love these types of cards. That's a cool insert there. Joey Wendell, get up, Mets, celebrate. Humberto Mejia, rookie card. Nick Heidert, or otherwise known as Nick Neidert for the Marlins. And Nick Senzel for the Cincinnati Reds. Very cool, very cool. I like to sleeve these uh, die cut ones up because they're just, they have so many corners and they're so sensitive. I don't want them to get damaged. Okay, we did it. Almost a tra- tra- travesty. All right, this one's going to have something, some something. I can see it. So we're going to do a little card trick or rooting. Something's coming at the end of this pack. Prepare yourselves. Dylan Bundy for the Angels. Mitch Haniger, Washington Nationals. Hmm. We have uh, Mitch Moreland for the Padres. Mike Trout. Auto, no, just, just kidding, in case you weren't watching. Shane Biebs, Matthew Boyd, rookie card, Cody Whiteley, Mike Yastrzemski, Jesus Sanchez, Whew. Patrick Corbin. That's not nice, most accurate, but not nice. All right, here we go. This is uh, could be the relic card, could be an auto. I'm thinking it's going to be a relic. I would like it to be an auto, but we're about to find out together, folks. Here we go. It is Brandon Lowe, Major League Material for the Rays. <clears throat> Player-worn memorabilia, numbered 31 out of 199. So congratulations there to the Tampa Bay Rays. Once again, Julio. That's your player-worn memorabilia, little patch right there. And uh, that's probably the hit for the box. Yeesh. You never know. Maybe they'll surprise us. But... Probably not. I mean, it's a fine card. There's nothing wrong with it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, that card's pretty cool. It's a fine card. Totally fine, guys. 
Totally fine. <laughs> Moose says, can't be excited for race goes against all that's holy. I understand your pain. Marcella Zuna, Anthony Santander, Hunter Harvey, Danny Mendick, doop, 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 Louis Patino, Brandon Drury, Mariko Duban, Cattell Marte. Here's an upside down Mike Piazza for the Mets. That's a cool looking card right there. Mike's Pizzas. Hands up, masks up for the Dodgers. Manny Machado, Juan Soto, and the Detroit Tigers with a Josh Harrison. A lot of sideways cards there, Moose. Alrighty, let's keep rocking and rolling here. Yeah, that Mike Pizza card's cool. You should open a place called Mike's Pizza. Mike, Mike Piazza's Pizza. Mike Clevenger, thanks for no longer playing for us. Alex Bregman, thanks for cheating. Jesus Lazardo, thanks for beating up the cheaters. Christian Yaver, Spencer Howard, Javier Baez, Gene Segura, Flippity Floppity Floop, Colton Wong, Danny Santana, Miguel Andahar. Here's a Flipperuski. This is going to be our, our gold card. Joey Gallo, 1495 out of 2021. There we go. Two dollar on uh, on Bregman, Joey Gallo right there. One thousand four hundred ninety five out of two thousand and twenty one. Nice gold card. Here we have Jose Urena, Ian Henderson, David Dahl. Not too shabby. Moose says mine. There you go. That's right. You did pick up the Rangers. Good work. Apparently, these gold cards have been uh, hard to come by for some. So we did get one in our retail box, though, as well, which that's good. Nice Joey Gallo. There you have it. Looks good. All right. We will continue onwards and forwards. Four packs left, and then our hobby exclusive. So we'll see what is waiting for us here. We got the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. We got Eddie Alvarez for the Marlins. We got a flip and a flip. Casey Mize for the Tigers. Six Toes and Sanchez for the Marlins. Flippity flip, Rays, Willie Adames. Matt Shoemaker for the Blue Jays. Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Matt Olson for the Athletics. Here we go, Nolan Arenado. That's just a good-looking card there for the Rockies. Eduardo Escobar for the Diamondbacks. Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. Seth Lugo for the Mets. Rugnet Odor for the Rangers, not the Yankees. And Wilmer Flores for the Giants, not the Mets. Remember when he cried? He was crying because he thought the Mets traded him, and they didn't, and then they did Luis Castillo for the Reds. Anthony Rizzo, Cubs. There's one for the Orioles. Braves. Nice rookie card for the Royals there. Oakland A's. Aroldis Chapman for the Yanks. Lorenzo Cain for the Brewers. Moose says yes. Jonathan Daza for the Rockies. Kyle Lewis, Mariners. Blake Snell. Still shouldn't have pulled him out of that game. Corey Seager. Marcus Simeon. And Leody Tavares. 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 Two packs left. Maybe, just maybe, they'll give us something worthwhile in here. There is Trevor, no longer plays for the Indians, showing the ball over the eye. Bauer, Amir Garrett for the Reds. DJ LeMay, Robert Perez. Hopefully he recovers soon. Michael Taylor for the Nats. Gio Urshela, you're welcome, Yankees. Francisco Mejia, you're welcome, Padres. Kyle Seeger, here is a 2020 Nolan Arenado for the Rockies. Nice insert card there. That looks pretty cool. Just leave on that just because we can. Blake Taylor, there's a Giants one. Pirates, Sean Doolittle, Tampa Bay Rays. Moose, I've got $2 for you if you let Ben destroy Odor. <laughs> Is that your card? 
That was a Rangers card, wasn't it? Moose wants that deal. Let me find him. Let's go back in here. Moose wants to make two two dollars. I can tell you what card I'd like to tear up. Is that stinking fake? That fake uh, Mark McGuire card. That's what I'd like to tear up. All right, we're gonna set. We'll set Rugnit over there. Last pack. And then we have our hobby exclusive pack. Hoping for some real magic in that one. Here we go. Chris Bubik for the Royals. Bum bum bum. Bo Burrows for the Tigers. Bo Bichette. Jacob Junis. Max Stasi. Cody Bellinger. JD Davis. Doop, doop, doop. Roman Quinn. Here we go. Tops home run challenge. Jordan Alvarez. That'd be a cool card to get. There you go, Astros. That would be a nice one if you were able to win that. Dab on him for the Brewers. Nats, Juan Soto, Brady Singer for the Royals, Alex Verdugo, Patrick Sandoval. There you have it. All right. Last pack. Hobby exclusive. Four cards in this pack. Let's hope that they save something in here for us. It says rip open the excitement. Post your packs. Oh tops. I cannot wait to post the hit of the box. Brandon Lowe patch card out of 199. Can't wait to post it. You said look at Brady Singer's arm. Oh my. Why? <laughs> That's crazy. He looks like uh, Mr. Uh, or, yeah, Mr. Fantastic, you know, from the Fantastic Four or whatever. Stretch Armstrong right there. That's funny. Thanks for pointing that out, Moose. Not, what's seen cannot be unseen. All right, we, we're ripping open some excitement. Let's, here we go. Ooh, okay. White Sox. Tops Chrome. Nick Madrigal. It's a nice looking card. Nice refractor action going on there. There's another rookie for the Rangers. Leo de Taveras. Tops Chrome. Looks good there. Ooh, that's got to be a good one for somebody. Shohei Otani. It's not a rookie card or anything, but still, good looking card for the Angels. And last but not least, Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. All right. It's a nice, I mean, this pack was, was kind of worth it. Not going to lie. I feel like this, this not that it made up for the box because that hit card still is really terrible, but these cards are nice. Give me a box. I mean, I know Topps Chrome, you know, is the thing here, but give me a box where I'm just going to get all of these refractors in there. I, I would take it. I would take that for sure. That's it. That's the empty box, folks. Those are all the packs. That's what I have to offer you there. Um, I'm underwhelmed. I know. I know maybe you are all underwhelmed, perhaps. Not the best box in the world. Uh, I was trying to think. I don't know that I've opened. This might be my first hobby box for tops. Maybe maybe I've opened one other hobby box before for tops. Yeah, not, not the greatest here. Sad every time I say Mookie and Dodgers here. Yeah, three out of ten. Yeah. I mean, this is my thing. 
it could have been a real stinker. But I would always rather see an auto than a relic. And when they say look for one auto or relic in every hobby box, my anticipation is that it's almost always going to be a relic card, not an autograph. And I know that's not always the case, but that's just always what I'm expecting. I would always be surprised to see an autograph in there. At the price point that these boxes are, and with how underwhelming they are with other hits and everything, I would say, hey, Tops, why can't you give me a relic card and an auto in the box? That would be nice. That would make me will be willing to buy more. But at this rate, nah. I mean, even our retail was almost just as good. I mean, yeah, there's a couple more numbered cards and short prints and that kind of thing. But honestly, outside of this, you know, outside of this one pack, especially with that nice Shohei Otani card, but, you know, really not, not much better than retail, honestly. I mean, that patch card's fine, but it's not the best. The only relics you really want are dead player stuff. <laughs> you're not wrong, Boost. I mean, you're not wrong about that. So that wraps it up for that box. Yeah, I would, again, I would say underwhelmed, I know. But thank you again all for participating in the break. Ugh. My trash is now full, but yeah, thanks again guys for joining in. I'm gonna sort through these cards and I'll uh, get them out to you. Uh, again, we do have our, you know, we have what we have going on in the other breaks here, those black diamond boxes in case for some reason you were interested in that. We got two boxes that we're trying to break where it's gonna be $58, I believe, per, per spot, 10 spots left in this break. These are, I don't know, dare I say, the hottest cards so far of 2021. And for them being non-sport cards, it's kind of crazy how popular these things are. I've got four boxes waiting to be opened. I understand the the price though, so don't don't get me wrong. I understand the hesitancy, but it'd be a lot of fun to open up our sort of one one pack uh, whatever. Moose, he's not supposed to send it to me. He's supposed to send it. He's supposed to send it to you. This is your card. You don't pay me to break the card. You pay yourself to to break the card. Rugnet Odor. Sitting pretty right here. I really don't like doing this. I like sending out all the cards that we rip. I, I would hate to do this, but if Moose can get $2 out of the deal, then I'm gonna let Moose get $2 out of the deal. Or I send the card to Moose Tube and he makes a video putting this card through absolute torture for his channel. That would be even better in my opinion. Uh, and then again, we also have our historic autograph, POTUS. I'll get this off my hands so you, can, uh, you don't have to see my hands here. We have our historic autograph POTUS break. We sold an extra spot in that, so we are down to seven spots left for that break. And uh, that goes to, let's see, what is it? 21, I say $28, $27 a spot, four random presidents. That one would be a, a fun one. Let's answer some text messages. All right, I'm game for that, says Nathan. Game four. Watching Moose destroy it, because that's what I'm game for. You have to clarify. I don't want to destroy Moose's card unless it's the only way I am getting through this situation, but otherwise I'd, I'd, I'd want to keep it with Moose. I was uh, here, I'll show these off as you guys are talking amongst yourselves. I was going through some uh, cards and whatnot and stumbled across these that I had from some of our early uh, score breaks, ones that I opened up for myself here. Watching Moose send it through the wash. Yeah, I'm, Moose, I'm sending this card to you and you need to do a video on this and uh, you'll, you'll tell us what, you'll show us, we'll watch what you do with it. That's more exciting to me. <laughs> Antonio Gandhi golden rookie card. I'm trying to, I'm gonna like go through and see if any of these, it's okay, maybe I'll place it in a McRib sandwich. Ooh, that's even, ooh, I like that idea too. 
see if any of these rookies are actually good now that the you know we've been able to watch them play for a year. Lynn Bowden Jr., Trevon Diggs, Chase Claypool, he's pretty good. Grant Delpit, Zach Baum, CJ Henderson, Raquan Davis, Isaiah Hodgkins, Harrison Bryant, Darrington Evans, Jacob Eason, never get will never get to play. Kendrick Rogers. Colby Parkinson, Patrick Taylor Jr., James Morgan, Curtis Weaver, Devin Deverney, Albert, that guy, Brian Harrion, DeAndre Swift, he's decent, Juwan Johnson, Thaddeus Moss, Tyler Johnson, Noah, CeeDee Lamb, he's decent, Terrell Lewis, Steven Montez, Zach Moss, he's okay, Nate Stanley, Ross Blacklock, Jalen Rager, Hunter Bryant, Eno Benjamin, Javon Kinlaw, Yatur Gross Matos, Desmond Patman, Charlie Werner, Tyler Huntley, Joe Burrow, he's okay, Rico Dowdle, Salvin Ahmed. All rookies there. Let's try to see which ones were, were actually good still. Some of them are okay. Let's see how they progress next year. Well, I don't have anything else. I wish I had something else to, to break. I like having, I like doing like one night and just breaking as much as I can and then taking the next day and sorting and whatever as opposed to streaming all these sort of individual breaks one at a time. But that's just the way that it's uh, it's been working. It's pre presented itself. Bro, he's okay. That's what I said. He, yeah, he's all right. He's okay. So yeah, we'll keep, uh, you know, I keep trying to post and uh, I'm not sure where else we'll, we'll get people from, but uh, you know, if you are here watching or you know people that might be interested or you have some following of people that are card collectors, feel free to share the information about the breaks. Most of it I post onto uh, Twitter and whatnot, but again, feel free to, to share it. I mean, again, I, I know I've said this a million times, but I'm especially excited about these black diamond boxes. And uh, I just just feel like there's some there's gonna be something spectacular in, in, in one of the four at least. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've done really well in the past with non-sport card breaks. We've had some pretty big hits in some of our Star Wars breaks that we've done. That one of one printing plate autographed by the guy who is the, the voice of Anakin Skywalker in the series, the uh, the animated series was probably the best one. That was pretty cool. The original one of one plate we pulled for the Star Wars. That was pretty good. We pulled a, a, a Ray Park Darth Maul auto, which actually is really good too. So we've done well with non-sports cards. That's why I'm fairly confident that there is going to be a Lincoln hair relic card in our um, POTUS box. And then I'm fairly confident that if we give it to the right person, we have the opportunity potentially to bring back a form of Abraham Lincoln. And he will probably be running for president in 2024. Probably. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all that I have for you. Um, yep, so just let me know if you, uh, again, if you know anyone who would be interested, send them on over this way. I'm going to sort through these cards as I watch the end of the Indians game. Probably losing would be my guess, but uh, that's it. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks, Moostu, for being here. Nathan Klein for being here. Sydney R. for being here. Uh, so many others who were joined the chat. Those who became our Arcade Couple family members officially. Uh, thank you so much for that as well. I know Bomberman John was one, and the Arcade Kids was the other one. And uh, we'll have some regular live streams coming soon, ones that don't involve um, uh, card breaks and whatnot. But uh, we will continue to do this, but have some of our regular live streams. Auni is getting ready to go on uh, vacation with her parents here uh, at towards the end of the week. So we're to hopefully we'll get a chance to get out sometime this weekend make some videos together before she goes on vacation, but uh, I'll probably have a couple of um, uh, 
live streams or something, maybe live from the arcade while she's gone. So we'll, we'll do some different stuff during that time as well. But we will see. Uh, if anyone is interested in Moose's hair relic, let him know. But hurry, make pattern baldness, is, uh, male pattern baldness is kicking in. Uh, yes, so get some get a hair follicle for Moose. So I'll get one for myself here and we'll freeze him for 100 years and then they can try to resurrect us, I suppose. Time for the third period, says Nathan. Must be watching some hockey. Jeremy Chavez, thanks so much for coming in. We are leaving, but you can watch the replay. Don't worry. We're just opening up some cards. Uh, nothing too spectacular, though, so you don't have to watch if you don't want to. But anyway, good night, everyone. Nathan, Shannon, Moose, good night all. Thanks again for your support and participating, and we will see you. Oh, if you haven't sent me your shipping address, where you want the cards shipped to, and you were in the break, uh, make sure you, you give your give me your shipping address. So that would be would be much appreciated because I will get all of these out in the mail tomorrow. So thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye. Shohei Otani.